it's Jeanette and I want to help you get better results in February. So for those of you who don't know, I am now a life coach and I teach the mindset model to everyone <laughs> that will have a conversation uh, with me. It's changed my life and I'm getting to change the lives of others with it. So let's look at January. Did you start the thing? The business that you wanted to start, the journey that you wanted to start, did you start and quit? Maybe you haven't even started. Okay, a lot of you had all these great thoughts about the new year. And why haven't you started, <laughs> right? You haven't started because of the way you're thinking and the way you're feeling. C is for circumstance, right? Circumstances are things that you can't control, your past, people, your present life. Circumstances are always neutral. You give meaning to every circumstance in your life through your thoughts. You are the creator of your thoughts. And all of your thoughts create feelings inside of you. And what drives actions, ladies and gentlemen, it's the way you feel, right? This is what you need to work on, your thoughts and your feelings if you want a different result in February, in 2022. Right, because the way you feel drives your action or inaction, right? So you can start the model anywhere, right? So what are the results that you want? I always go back to, um, to losing weight, right? Because that's one of my specialties, right? So if, you, if the goal is to, right, lose, right? So lost eight pounds. We're going to reverse. And if you want to lose eight pounds, what do you need to do? You need to drink water. Right? You need to maybe get 10,000 steps in. I'm not even saying working out, right? 10,000. You need to clean, you know, have a healthy diet, right? Healthy nutrition plan. I can help you with all of this, by the way. Maybe personal development to improve your mindset, right? I call this PD, right? So drinking water, getting your 10,000 steps, have a healthy nutrition, personal development, sleep. Oh my goodness, right? Sleep seven hours. Easy. We all know how to lose weight, people. What do you need to feel to drive this action? You want to drink your water, right? What do you want to feel? I want you to feel, I want to feel certain. I want to feel certainty in my life, right? Right? Maybe you want to feel confidence. Maybe you want to feel calm. And a lot of you are like, I want to feel excited. But how long can you work in excitement? You can't. Excitement is like, oh my God, <sighs> that's tiring. I want to work here. I want to work calm. I want to work in confidence. And I want to work in, in certainty, right? So now certainty this feeling that i know like it's inside of me that i and you know what thought drives that feeling of certainty i got this and the circumstance is the goal of losing eight pounds Sounds easy, Jeanette, right? But this is a problem. You set a goal losing eight pounds and you know why you don't get the results? Because your thought is it's hard. If you're coming up every every um, every day, waking up is like, oh my God, this is so hard. What feeling does that drive? Nothing good, right? This is another job. Losing weight is not a job, right? So it's hard. This never works. I always quit. These are all the thoughts that are keeping you stuck because those thoughts do not give you good feelings and feelings drive our action. And some of you, because it was January, you're like, I'm going to start, right? And you started, but every day you look in the mirror, it's like, it's not enough. It's not happening fast enough. I suck. I'm lazy. I don't have time. How long can you take action from that feeling? of disappointment, of, dis uh, of defeat. If you understand the way this works, you will understand that the most important thing you do in your weight loss is 
control your thoughts, right? You don't have to be like, oh my God, weight loss is easy. Woo, woo, woo. No, because you can't believe this. Can you believe that I got this? Can you believe that I can figure it out? Can you believe is I honor my body every day, right? My body enjoys nutritious food. Nutritious food gives me energy, right? Can you create a belief plan, is, which is what I teach you? Creating a belief plan that is going to make you feel good to drive action. And you know how when you really believe and you don't change your thoughts to negative, when you don't lose weight for one week or when you treat yourself or when life happens and you stop for a day or two. You know why people get up and go and continue and don't quit? Because I got this. This is my belief. I got this. I always figure it out right? I can figure it out. And I'd love to have curiosity in my health journey. And you better believe that when you hit your 40s, you have thyroid disease the way I've had for over 20 something years, I got to be curious because frustration, the feeling of frustration paralyzes me. It self-sabotages me. So does this make sense, people? Right? Nobody teaches you this, right? Nobody teaches you the power of of your mind and how to manage your mind, right? A personal, I love personal development books. I love affirmations, but those things are motivational and inspirational. They don't come in here and change the way you think, right? You have to do that. And you do that, ask yourself, what were your main thoughts that you had this month, right? I'm so busy, I don't have time. Right? What were those thoughts? And what feelings did you create? Your job does not, <laughs> does not create your thoughts. Your children do not create your thoughts. You think they do. No. It's not your children. It's not your kids. It's not your job. It's not your schedule. It's every meaning that you're giving to those things. And you have total control. And this is not about being positive. This is just being aware and taking full responsibility for how you think and feel. And this is emotional adulthood, people. Welcome to emotional adulthood. And once again, nobody teaches you how to do this. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, and, and this is what I bring to the table, teaching you how to manage your thoughts. So I hope that you join me. Uh, my wellness community is open for enrollment, whether you want to work out or just work on your nutrition. I do both. So I hope to see you in there. Send me uh, a message, email me, uh, fill out my form on my Instagram page, and we will get you started. And my goal is always for everyone who joins me to be here at the end of the year, being loving and kind every single day on this journey. Thank you for watching.